Good day, Simmers. Welcome once again to Samantha's Free Play channel. And for this episode, we will go ahead and learn how to do the merge glitch. And as you can see, I have a couple of uh, merges that I did. One with a wall TV and a coffee table. And then um, three pieces of uh, plush cream satay. We got this type of chair from the Tutti Fruity um update but of course uh with you learning the merge glitch you can basically do it with um, the items that you prefer so this is just an example um, but before we do the actual merging i will be giving you um, some important information on uh, what to consider prior to doing the merge glitch so here are some of the few most important things you will need to consider um, if you are going to go into doing the merge glitch. Um, first thing to consider is you have to be doing this um, at the location or um, at the part of the house where you would want or the part of the house or the lot or wherever you want that I those items merged um, to be located because the moment they are merged you can't move them. That's one. Two, um, if the merging you're doing is between two uh, different types of items, like this one we have here, this is uh, the LETV and a coffee table. So the item that is going to merge into the other item needs to be something that you can duplicate from the home store. It should not be something that you probably just got from... Um, an architect home something that's not yet available for you to buy is, is what i mean so it has to be something that has the plus sign okay okay so just a few more things that you will need to consider when uh, doing the merge glitch um is the fact that this may not work with each and every item um that we have in the game so um recently i had a talk with um, one of the simmers with whom I've learned the uh, merge uh, glitching from. Uh, her name is Camila Lyon. I, I learned a lot of things from Camila, including this one, um, the merge glitch. She mentioned that after the shabby uh, chic update, uh, she has had some trouble merging really large items. Um, she didn't say it's, it, it won't work, but you probably will have a hard time doing that. I'd like to stick with the basics. Um, this is not really one of my uh, favorite glitches, if, if I may say so, but I'm creating the content, uh, the fact that uh, it could come in handy to some of you simmers who would like to um, do something different with your um, decoration. Another thing, um, this will not work instantly if you're not that quick uh, that's something that i will um, um discuss later on how to do the actual merge glitching um th the fact that i mentioned earlier that it may not work the first time that you attempt it um brings me to tell you that you have to have space where you can store um the item that had been added so make sure that say for example for this um, coffee table you need to make sure there's no copy of this um, left in the inventory once you buy it from the home store the moment that you're uh, you've added this um, during the merge glitch do not place this back on the um, inventory until after you're able to completely um, or successfully do the merge glitch because as long as um, there is a copy of this item on the inventory after you've purchased this from the home store um, the green plus sign will not appear and that's something that's important I'll explain that in detail later on uh, in the meantime I wanted to um, add that as one of the important reminders so having mentioned earlier that you have to have space where you need to store those added items during your unsuccessful attempts with the merge glitch this is what i can suggest what i did was um 
uh, first of all I, I do I, I would do the merch glitch at the point where I am just decorating the house like so like this one um, so that I still have space I wouldn't do a merch glitch um, at, a, at a lot or at a house where it's already completely been decorated because that's gonna that's just gonna swamp the area so this uh, I'm currently decorating this um, yellow house that I'm putting together I'm sort of thinking to uh, create like an events place but basically that's it that's that's one advice I can give you to, to do the merch glitch at the time that you're still decorating whichever house you're you're doing so that's what I'm doing here and then I created I have space right here right but um, what what made it convenient for me is that I created a basement area where I can just put uh, all the excess items that I have added during the merge glitch that um, were part of the first few attempts uh, that I did until I was able to successfully merge this L-shaped um, plush cream settee and the this um, wall TV and the coffee table. So see, um, for the coffee table, um, this would this this would say that I had like around um, eight attempts. The ninth one was the successful merge glitch. But that's because um, probably my uh, hands were really tired because it's been like a busy week um, at work, a uh, busy couple of weeks. So you you really have to be um, uh, you have you have to be relaxed in doing this because it's kind of um, tiring to do the merge glitch in my own humble opinion. And uh, this is the number of uh, seti that I had added um, in order for me to finally um, uh, be able to merge the L shape um, chair towards this side okay so that's another thing so in addition to all those important details uh, I previously discussed about what we need to take into consideration prior to doing the merge glitch one other important thing is that we need to make sure we are doing the proper spacing for us to make sure that we're able to get the desired um, look of the merge like for example for this one for this chair I wanted it particularly at this side of the porch and I wanted it to look this way so that's one other thing that makes um, me dislike uh, the merge glitch or not like it so much but um, let me show you what we can do or how we should be doing this and um, we need to make sure that the spacing is right so as an example um, if you wanted that kind of look for that uh, l-shaped chair the first thing you will need to do uh, with the item that you are merging is to place one of uh, the first item on this side okay. so this particular item this chair um, actually occupies a one by two um, size of an area and um, if you want to merge it like so you have to make sure that there is um, a one by one space um, in between plus one full space for the item that you are merging so that would mean you will need about three a one by three to successfully do the glitch okay so I'm gonna explain that further and uh, let's go ahead and do the merge glitch so let's give this one a try okay let's try to um, replicate the initial merge that I did so um, in addition as well um, we need to be using um, certain tabs here on the home store that kind of has like a delay to help us with um, the merge glitch 
So those couple of tabs that would be really helpful will be the living room tab. When you're doing the mer merge glitch, you need to make sure you, you open this and make sure you do not select any filter. The filter should be off, okay? Reason why the living room is a good tab is because there's a delay. Uh, let me show you. If we move this right here, and we click the the check sign it doesn't go back immediately there's sort of like a delay which gives the merge glitch its magic for you to be able to um, click on the necessary icons later on because it gives you that certain delay to be able to do that that's that's the logic of it other than the living room tab you can also use the decorations tab so this one has uh, sort of a, uh, a delay as well that's ideal for the merge glitch so particular to this chair um, merge glitch that we're doing let's use the living room let's let's try out the living room one so uh, if, uh, just imagine that I only have this two okay uh, forget about all the rest of this here on the side Let's just say I have two. And then later we'll get a third one because we'll need to extend the letter L. So this is what we're going to work on initially. And again, as I've mentioned, we need to have a one by three in between the two items we're merging. All right. And then we open the living room tab there. And then once we do that, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you the icons you will need to click on as fast as you can, okay? But I'll do this uh, slowly first so we can, we can be able to identify it first. The initial thing you will need to do is to click this blue plus sign right here. Click it. It will show you um, the, uh, slightly different icons, slightly different, uh, just different color you'll see the green plus sign right here beside the check sign. So the process is, again, let's go back. You set down the couple of items that you're merging, open um, your preferred tab, whether it's the living room tab or the decorations tab make sure there's no filter go to the item that you're merging uh, that you're gonna merge into the other one click the plus sign and then as fast as you can before this um, next item completely registers or goes down on the ground you have to make sure you are, you are able to click the plus and minus as quickly before it completely settles down so that the the, the, the third one that you're supposed to be adding merges right here. It, it jumps here and then it will merge. Okay? And then once you see it blinking, um, that means to say that the merge is successful. But this one is not because you can still see the X and the other icons. You can tell that the, the merge is successful when it, uh, when it allows you to click this um, exit icon right here on the upper right corner we need to say there's no icon or all the icons here near the chairs are grayed out and you're able to exit to make the merge take effect so another thing I can um, let's X that out for a while another tip I will give you since if this is like your first time doing the merge glitch you need to practice you need to know where to click because you'll need to do it like you're doing it blindly okay because you have to do it really quick like split second if i may say so so what i do is i quickly do a practice here and click this for like maybe two or three times um, and then take a mental note of where to click where to put your finger uh, where to click uh, where to put your finger very quickly as if you're actually clicking on the plus and check sign um, simultaneously 
okay almost simultaneously so that's what I do I do this like two three four times until I'm confident a little confident if I may say so that I'll be able to click it but even if I do that to um, practice or uh, give myself like um, time to memorize where the spot the exact spot will be I still end up having to do it a few times so let's do it right now let's give it a give it a try I won't be saying anything in between the time that I am trying to process the merge glitch so just kindly watch me as I do it Okay, so this one right here is an example of an unsuccessful merge. Why? Because like I said, the rest of the icons here should be grayed out. And we should be able to safely exit um, without, um, without getting this chair that's about to merge to go away. Okay? And this second chair here should not have been added. It should have been, there should be a blank space right here. Uh, this, uh, for, for this area right here, okay? Let me show you what I mean with this being unsuccessful. Yes, you can click the green button here on the upper right corner to exit. But when you go back uh, to the regular screen, the merge is not there, okay? If the icons were grayed out, you will see that that chair will stay um, merged with this one. It will look something like this without the icons. And then you can even move this chair right here to even combine it um, to the L-shaped chair that you're trying to come up with. So we'll give it another try. And this is what I mean exactly with you needing to have space. You can, of course, sell the item if you would like to sell it. But I don't do that because that's going to affect the town value. It's going to go down. So I'll just keep them. Maybe I'll be able to use them later. So let's give it another shot. Again, I will not be talking. So you can just watch me um, process another attempt.
Okay, so finally after, I'm not sure if that was two or three attempts, I was finally able to merge it. This is um, an indication that the merge is successful because you see uh, the chair blinking but there's no icons around it. And in fact, you can add a third one while it's blinking before exiting. You can add a third one here. Click the check sign and then go uh, to this uh, green icon here to exit again. And there, your merge is successful. Okay, so again, um, just as a review, if you are doing the glitch, the merge glitch, what you need to take into consideration is the fact that you have to quickly or be very quick in clicking the necessary keys or icons. So let me show you again what those icons are. First thing to click is the blue plus sign right here. Um, and as best as you can imagine, follow the suggestion I gave you to practice doing it for several times like so. Maybe up to five times if you're starting out. So you know exactly, like here I'll be clicking on this particular boxes here on top. I'll try to click it as best I can. And then click them both almost simultaneously. And then the spacing so that the merge is successful. So that the same thing basically applies uh, with when you're doing the glitch for the TV, this wall TV right here. And the coffee table. So um, the ideal spacing for this one would be Let me just destroy this merge in the meantime. So if you're gonna put your TV right here, right? Uh, this spot right here, the one by the one by two that's uh, highlighted in green, that's the space that's in in reality or in in, in regular regular uh, that's regularly allowed in the app. You're not supposed to be able to put anything there on that spot and that's the merging spot so if if it's a wall TV that you are uh, merging with a table underneath underneath it the space should be just um, a couple from the wall TV so that's just um, a two by four and then the item that you will be merging um, against the TV because if you're gonna add click to add the click the blue add button it will already reveal the plus and check sign and then that third item that uh, or duplicate that you're attempting to add will jump into the TV and will be merged right there okay so it it will kind of uh, differ depending on the items that you are merging okay so I hope that this was comprehensive and that you were able to, uh, you will be able to successfully um, do your own glitch and, uh, you know, be able to save space. So that's one other thing that's good about uh, doing the merge glitch. Um, if you have questions, you can always um, post it on the comment section. And once again, I thank you for watching. Until the next episode.